I just moved into a new apartment. I live in LA. I just moved into this new apartment that's like three blocks from uh, Dave and Buster's. And it's, my whole world's been turned upside down. That's, that's a highly sought after, that's a high demand area, you know, to be, to be dance dance revolution adjacent as it's listed. That's how it's listed on the internet. But it's cool, it's like crappy little like studio apartment. I wanna be friends with my neighbors so bad. That's my dream, I've never had that. I wanna like, I wanna come home at night. I want all my neighbors to be like in their windows, you know, waiting for me with little, little night, night hats, you know. Cute little night hats and little candles, you know. They're all waiting for me. Then I come home, they're like, oh, Rye Guy! Rye Guy, how was your night, baby? We missed you! And I'll be like, oh, it was, I got a parking ticket. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. And they're all like, oh, we'll all split it with you. We'll, we love you. And I'm like, nah, you don't have to, yeah? <laughs> yes, please? I want that so bad. But I never, I did just meet my very first neighbor though. I live, I live right next door to a, a pretty, a pretty hot babe. Huh? That's exciting. I want, I want love, you know. I am so sad. I am very sad. I was kind of checking her out one day. She was getting her mail and I was in the courtyard, you know, and I was, I was like looking at her, you know, just like, just looking. You know, that's my move. I was looking, I was looking for a while looking. And I didn't even realize my landlord, my landlord is like younger than me, like a surfer, like bro, dude. But he was just in his doorway. I didn't even know he was there. He just goes, yo, stop being a creep, dude. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Shh, it's blowing my cover, dude. He just goes, nah, you're good, bro. She's all deaf. That's what he said. She's all deaf. All the way. All deaf. So that's how I found out that she is deaf. Which, you know, that's an obstacle in our relationship, yes, for sure. But we're gonna, we'll make it work, you know? I've played charades, you know? <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll find a way, true love finds a way. But come to find out, she does also have a boyfriend. And not just any boyfriend, she has a super hot, also deaf boyfriend. Which is like, all right, huge advantage, that guy, for sure. <laughs> they have way more to talk about, you know? <laughs> so they're all hot and deaf and they go in the pool together you know and they're super loud and they don't know and uh not important not important one day i came home and she was in the pool by herself splish splashing and i was like man i'm gonna meet my new i'm gonna be the cool neighbor i'm gonna go like say hi so i walked up to the pool gate you know and i just went hey and immediately it was like gosh she's deaf you idiot I would say, hey, you idiot. But she gave a polite little, you know, a little, like, wave. And that should have been the end of it. I should have walked away after that, probably. But it kept going, because I panicked. I panicked that I forgot that she was deaf. So here, here's our full interaction, unedited. I walked up to the pool gate, and I just went, hey! Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I said. I said, never mind, right to her face. <laughs> that was it, and I just walked away, <laughs> super embarrassed. I said, never mind, and then I just left. And I get to my door, apartment five, and the door to apartment six opens, and the deaf girl walks out. That wasn't even the deaf girl in the pool. <laughs> it was just a different person. <laughs> a different cute girl. Who could hear me? Who could hear me the whole time? Just go, hey, no, oh, no, never mind. Never mind, I forgot. I forgot, you're all the way deaf. Deaf all the way, my fault. <laughs> so not the cool neighbor yet. Oh, for one on the cool neighbor front. My first time living alone too. That's, that's like exciting stuff, living alone, you know? I gotta, I gotta like pay rent all by myself, you know? It's like, wow, who am I? My dad, you know? <laughs> Paying a rent. You know how much my rent is for this tiny little apartment? It's, it's exactly $1,000, that's my rent. Thank you. <laughs> I know that's not like a, a lot, but it's stressing me out. Everyone's looking at me like, that's super reasonable. Why are you, <laughs> who cares? Where is that? <laughs> but it's stressing me out, man. I don't, it's not even the amount that's stressing me out. I think it's just, it's the word thousand. I never thought that word would have a place in my life. A thousand, it's such a grand, it's like a king's word. A thousand, a thousand good men and a thousand horses. You're like, whoa, are there even that many horses? 
Whoa! I feel like I've seen like five horses in my life. And a couple of those were deer. Which I've since been told are not the same. I disagree. I think a deer is just a horse with the head of a mouse. But I digress. My rent is a thousand, a king's thousand. I gotta write my checks in cursive. I had to relearn cursive to move into this place, to write 1,000 on my checks in perfect Elizabethan cursive. Never did get that Z, never learned that, that cursive five hump bushel of grapes, whatever that cursive Z was. Never got that down. Then I find out there's not even a Z in thousand. I was spelling a thousand wrong this whole time too. Fool I am. I live alone. I shouldn't live alone. I live alone. I'm gonna choke on something and die. Something that's like not food. I'm gonna choke on like a battery and die probably. I live alone by myself. Isn't that awful? I was telling my friend, I was like, dude, I'm stressing out, man. My rent's a thousand dollars. I was like, I'm gonna have to move out. Like, how much is your place? He goes, dude, my place is 1300. I was like, what? I gotta move in there, dude. I had to get back in the hundreds, dude. My rent is a thousand. A royal thousand. What is that word? Sometimes I'll, I'll be driving and my GPS will go, in 1,000 feet, turn left. I'm like, at that 1,000 feet? What, are we going to the moon? <laughs> Jesus, I'm not trying to go to the moon. I'm just trying to go to Dave and Buster's. It's right down the street. <laughs>